Okay, behind the scenes footage on the set of Silent War, we have here lead actress uh, Melanie uh, Michelle playing Claire, and here we have um, uh, Amanda Stone is our makeup specialist, and we're filming here scene 12, which is the cupboard door scene, and we're going to see the transformation take place now on Mel. Yeah. I thought you were actually going to do a real scary, cut from it then. I thought you, with a knife, I thought we were going to get a real cut. Yeah. <laughs> Making me a bit nervous. <laughs> it's very weird. Tell you what, I'll just leave this 2p here by the jukebox. Mm -hmm. That's it, the sound of quite good. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about how you're feeling about this filming, um, Melanie. <sighs> well, very passionate about it as it's. Um, about domestic violence and um, there's a lot of people that go through it uh, and it's kind of a, a film about standing up and saying no um, and actually using your voice to get some help um, and not, not suffering in silence. Um, it's very powerful, quite emotional actually filming it. It's a lot of fun as well with the, with the crew. Um, opening my eyes really um, to just some of the, the fear, um, the intimidation, the just what happens behind closed doors um, that people don't really realise and yes, it's, it's quite quite emotional actually. Well if we can bring Nathan Lowe in over here who plays Ben, yeah. um, tell us a little bit, if you want to go over that side of her, yeah. tell us a little bit about your recent experiences because you've recently gone out for uh, meals and shopping runs in uh, makeup, mm. yes. um, oh. which is a testament really to Amanda. Because tell us a little bit about what has happened in these experiences. Um, just general public looking at um, Claire, right. well, Melanie covered in that. Len looking at me, thinking I've filled her in and literally disgusted, but never saying anything. Just looking at the feet. Mm. In fact, one lady came into um, Subway. Subway mm. to for a kiss to use a toilet. Seen Mel's face, snatched the kids by the arm and magged them out of the uh, out of the subway in fear. We're going yeah. somewhere else. We're going somewhere else. We're going now and just leaped her out of there. We were like, mm. yeah, it wasn't very really pleasant, was it? And then there were then three guys wanted to beat me up. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the filthiest look walking down yeah. the street. I had to look at my feet <laughs> to walk past him. I'm surprised he didn't get his head kicked into it. Yeah. <laughs> so does that help you identify with your character then? Because especially Ben is so frightened of being exposed. Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. I can completely understand with his friends. He obviously don't want him. Um, for obviously finding out and thinking that he's actually a piece of sh he's a scumbag. He's a right piece of work. So um, yeah, oh, definitely. And how have you found this in terms of <laughs> filming? Um, to be fair, I've had nightmares all week. Uh, I've not slept all week either. I keep, every 20 minutes I'm waking up uh, with visions of me strangling Claire um, and beating up. It's absolutely horrible, to be honest. Uh, today I've done nothing but shake. It's very emotional. Um, I'm ready for a pint. <laughs> With emotion, for the emotions, yes, because I've got to be really nasty novel, which is very hard because I'm not a nasty guy. Um, I'm just a big cuddly giant, to be fair. So to be really evil and be nasty on screen when you're not like that at all in real life is very hard. And then obviously there's the, the breakdown scene where I've, I've got to cry and obviously look. Which, we're about which to be to fair, it's quite easy too because all week I've been thinking this is horrible. <laughs> like this poor girl. Um, I just. Yeah, and obviously Melanie's acting is fantastic, so oh, I can actually... Oh, stop, stop. I can actually, um, <laughs> what's the word? Thank you. Not what's yes. the word, when you... Emotional? No, when you... Uh, Respect? No, when you're like, you, you use that emotion to, to help yourself act. A uh, method? Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. There you go. So I'm, yeah. I'm actually come, like, bouncing off her, which helps. Yeah, so, so it may be an awkward yeah. question, given the subject matter of this film. Do you have a favourite scene, as in, like, working together, that you think has gone really well? Um, all of them, really. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I like the one on the stairs. Um, when, Grabbing my throat. Yeah, when the, when the, <laughs> the thing is, what was nice was when, when the two guys come down and they look and they look away because that's exactly what we were doing in town. Well, but with this, instead of me looking at my feet all sheepish, I was like, you yes. fucking looking at <laughs> kind of thing. So, um, yeah, that was a good scene. I enjoyed that. Yeah, people are too scared to kind of like get involved as well. Yeah. Just, just, it's, it's basically like, it's none of my business. So, so leave them with it. Yeah. Which is wrong. People should go, you're right, love, and yeah, do you want some police or whatever? And, what you're doing here to know, but people don't, they just Too walk afraid. on by. Yeah. And Mel, favourite scene? 
Oh, my favourite scene. Oh, Probably the cupboard door. So I, <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Which we're in the <laughs> middle of filming. My favourite scene. <laughs> Which is um, what this lovely room yeah, being played your head is for. I think, yeah, I think just um, that, yeah. I haven't done it yet. But I think just the really emotional, yeah. nitty gritty scenes. Mm. Um, to make just it. because it's, it's in a way, like, you wouldn't normally yeah, see that. But this is just showing, like, yeah, the true it's violence it's and the true. And that. I'm the victim in this as well. Mm. And the stuff that I have to go through and how it affects my life. So just the, the really, like, emotional scenes and um yeah just to kind of like get that out there really and and, and um just show what some people are going through and hopefully change some lives and hopefully yeah hopefully this film will be really powerful and yeah. effective yeah. and actually get girls to say actually I'm not gonna no, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely and to stand up and say no i'm yeah. not gonna be treated like that anymore yeah so if you were out on the street now and you actually saw a scene that you thought mm -hmm may have indications of domestic violence, what do you think you might do? I've already done that one. I come out of a nightclub yeah. and a lad had older a girl upside a wall with folk, so I pulled him off and gave him a slap. <laughs> a long time ago, I was only 22, I was young, dumb and... Yeah, we should point out Human Voice Productions does not support vigilante actions. No. Uh, it is recommended that you contact the police or community support, because uh, you will see at the end of the film there are two charities back in this, uh, Refuge and Men's Advice Line, because men are also victims of domestic abuse. Yeah. Um, which is what is okay, also we're back key now to highlight. With uh, Amanda Stone, who has, in the process of those two interviews, uh, managed to beat our lead actress up. Mm, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to add a bit yes. more. Uh, we need to make sure, uh, camera crew, we are ready to shoot so this wound stays nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. So if we want to set up camera, yep. set, we are set. ready to go. And we will show now behind us here a little bit of the film set. Uh, this is camera one, which I think will be operated by James yeah. Wiles. And camera two is going to be with Mr. Peter Sinclair. And we're going to do what I've called a crossfire shot, because I'm not a professional director or cinematographer, but I call them a crossfire shot because we're essentially shooting across uh, each other's views uh, to hopefully claim two close-up shots uh, from when Claire has fallen from that cupboard door there down to the floor there. 